Alright guys, welcome back to Fallout 4. This is part 14, and what the hell am I doing right there? We've had a, an astonishing revelation that this man in front of us is in fact our son, not this little kid. This is actually a synth. It's like a half-human, half-synth robot prototype. It is absolutely crazy. Um, what we're having to do now is, if we're going to be siding with Sean, I feel like blowing his head off, because I'm not too sure if I should trust him really because I don't I, he could be half synth as well he doesn't know like he might not know himself I don't know everyone's confused um, but he told us to go and introduce ourselves to a load of people in the base I don't know how to actually get everywhere wait a second wait do you do you guys remember that Stur just gave us like a holotape to try and extract information I'm gonna try and do it in this I don't think I tried it before load holotape um, network scanner? Give holotape to Sturgis, okay. Can we just leave? Okay, eject the holotape. Okay, let's go back to him. Um, I'm kind of thinking that we should go, go there first, rather than just, you know, like, believe Sean and everything that he's say, saying, because he could be, like, brainwashed since birth. You know, this, this could be huge. Um, how the fuck do we get out of here? <laughs> Back through the elevator, I think. Um, had him away. There we go. Yeah, let's let's just not trust him straight away. We'll go back to Sanctuary, so I'm gonna skip all that, unless there's any cutscenes or anything now. Alright, so, um, I realized that I actually can't escape just yet, but there's... Like, this is their whole little base, and this is so cool. It's so different, so no, clean and scientific. We'll start the next trial then. Excuse me. Once you've settled in, I'll want to do a physical and get a file going on you. No hurry though. That is so weird. You're a synth? Holy crap. This is the first time like seeing one that doesn't look, you know, all messed up and shit. Alright, where or oh, where are we supposed to go? We're supposed to find um, all the doctors that Sean had said. Or, yeah, meet the division leaders. It's an honor to have okay. you here, sir. Almost done. Just Doctor, they weren't kidding. Drive, you really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I guess I just wasn't ready to die yet. Huh? That's understandable. The will to survive is the most basic human instinct. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm not on board with anything. No? And yet here you are, poking around. One might find that... suspicious. If you're not planning on staying, I'd recommend keeping your hands to yourself. Wouldn't want to give the impression you're up to something. And consider having another talk with Sean. He really is anxious to have you with us. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facility's division, I'm happy to discuss it. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface, we take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase-out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. I can't argue with that. 
Even so, it must I'm ready to see the full see all that three father has done. There we go. All that he has all set. All right, those, those guys are having a little argument there, so that is it with her conversation. Thanks again. I kind of let slip that um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be staying or not. So I, I think I, I messed up there. Maybe I should just try and convince them that I am going to be here for a while, because I don't know yet. Um, I had a comment from Tanner, and he did say that there's going to be uh, future revelations that kind of make you question some things, but, you know, it's it's really up to me and what I think, and holy shit, they're gorillas. Promising results. Oh my god, that's so cool. Glad you made it. Yeah, like, I might actually end up just staying with these guys, or else with the Minutemen. There's, there's so many different little factions as well to be, and like, so many little bits of information to try and think about, so it's, it's kind of hard to decide. Hi, Doc. Hello, Clayton. Still welcome, and so good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. After all, I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. You need to stop talking to me. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren. Head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm an outsider. Would there even be a place for me here? Even if science isn't your passion, there are plenty of ways to contribute. Our projects sometimes require an agent who can work on the surface to observe and gather information. From what I've heard, you are both fearless and resourceful. I think you'd be ideal for that kind of role. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then. He kept, like, you know, like, giving me the dodgy eye. He was like, I'm not too sure if he's with us or not, so uh, I'm gonna get the fuck out of there. Alright, back to the Institute. I'm liking how this kind of loads up quick, because usually you have to wait for a load page to kind of come on. Are there, they're synths there, aren't they? Yeah, that's a synth. We are they're honored to welcome you. <laughs> so tough to fight. I don't know what the fuck happened there, just started choking. Uh, I still am a little bit sick with tonsillitis, so I apologize for my voice sounding a little bit raspy. Alright, let's go into advanced systems. I'm guessing this is where they make all the synths and, you know, like, everything to do with it. Maybe, like, weapons and stuff. So this should be good. She's been Where's the guy? Two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. Oh, wait, can we just take a load of stuff? Is there anything to take? Cool. Oh. Hey, Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics, and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. Nobody can memorize a dozen blueprints. I didn't say it was easy, but I've been practicing at it since I was a little girl. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father. And that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Oh my god, there is so much gear here. Well, that was productive. Well, I do know that if I ever stay here, that I'll have as much ammo as I need for lasers. So much stuff here. Oh my god, I'm taking all these. Fuck these guys, they don't need it. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to be out there? I could just take all these grenades. Fuck it. I'm so stingy. Okay. Is there any more? Please tell me there's more. I'm so gonna have a look around here. They're laser beams, aren't they? <laughs> laser beams. Um, I want to hack my way in there. In case anyone didn't mention it, 
quiet time runs from 10 oh, shut up. to 6 a.m. What's the crack, Doc? Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here, then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. I don't want one of those things anywhere near me. If you expect to be coming and going, you're going to need one. You may have noticed that the relay is our only access to the surface. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. I don't know how I feel about all this, because... Ooh. I'm gonna take that, thank you very much. Ooh, I could use that. I could sneak and use it. Um... Yeah, I'm a little bit, like, up in the air about everything. Like, the people seem really nice, but there's something that keeps nagging in the back of my head, thinking that they're doing everything in the wrong way. I mean, they're just abducting people and then replacing them, which is, is like, completely wrong. You know, it's, there's obviously something wrong, but they, they just don't see it. They think it's for the best of uh, humanity. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo I really want that course or outfit first before I leave. Also, we have to remember that, uh, what's his name, the super mutant back in uh, the glowing sea? Get, any get out of my freaking way! Always be vigilant. We have many yeah, well, he needs us to steal some- oh my- is everyone, like, so stupid? Come on. There we go. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. Courses on the hunt are relentless. If you see one, you should stay out of its way. I know it'll be a difficult so, adjustment for you, but try you to are. remember that Just suits an aren't people. Acting director Stop talking! You, no, you need to leave. No, Excuse talk to me, me since she's gone. So, here you are. Just an AO, Acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. 
All right, that's really, really cool. Uh, all that information we got to find out about the Institute. It's, it seems so like an research. awesome place and so too good time. to be true. How are you floating like that? I know it'll be a difficult adjustment for you. <laughs> try to remember that suits aren't people. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please tell me I didn't kill you. Okay, um... We have to look for something that's in here. I I honestly can't remember because it, it was quite a while. Um, give hall tape to Sturgis. No, that's not the one. Damn, it was something that we needed for... Uh, what's the name of the guy? It's, it's really driving me crazy. Alright, so before we go up to Sean, I remembered something that Virgil... Yes, remember the name. Uh, Virgil, the super mutant, did say that he used to work in bioscience with the Institute. That's that's what I kind of remember. I don't know if he actually said that or not. Uh, so it's somewhere in this room so or in this the bombs like now. area of the building. I'm sorry, but I'm too preoccupied for chit chat. All right, so I found a nice little door here that's gonna probably take us. Ooh. Well, that's blocked off. Well, how the hell are we supposed to get in there? That's probably not where we're supposed to go. This looks like a really old office. All right, I'm just kind of like floating through this place. I, I don't really know where to go. Got it. All right, I've just entered into a weird little hallway there. It's uh, literally a labyrinth in here. It's actually cut quite hard to figure out where you're going. I just hope I haven't messed up my chances with the Institute. That was a close one. Um, we just came through that door. I know that's one of those shock things, isn't it? Are you dead? Okay, he's dead. Oh, I'm kind of worried. Bang goes your head. Get out of there. Abort, abort. And you're done, son. What? That's a legendary assault strong. Give me all those things. Oh, this is gonna be good, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait. First time actually fighting one of these guys. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna hack this thing, so I'll be a couple of minutes, I think, unless I get it like first go. That's it. Nice, got it. Turret control. Okay, there's no point in doing turret control, but uh, I will open the door. Come on, son. There we go. Open that shit up. Kind of shit myself right now. Where is the legendary Assaultron? Let me fuck him up. Holy shit. Okay, I'm dismantling this guy. That's him done? Oh my god, increase the size of sweet spot while picking lockpicks. Oh, that is amazing. What? No! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hit myself. That's the first time I've ever came across one. I did not know they self-destruct. Oh, that's so shitty. Go, 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 go. And this time I know they blow up, so I'm not gonna go anywhere near him. Blow up! I'm at, why is it blowing up? Is there a reason why it blew up the first time? I'm so confused. 
All right, let's just raid this place before we go anywhere else. <laughs> All right, so this time he didn't blow up. I don't know why he didn't, but I'm kind of happy that he didn't. <laughs> um, I have no idea where I'm going in here, so I'm just going to pick a load of doors, go through them. Sweet. I'm probably going to come back here because there's so much stuff that I want. I mean, there's like fusion cells and bottle caps. There's, there's like so many little things I need for my base as well. I've got so many like stim packs from here. Oh, baseball cap, that is so cool. Yeah, I'm definitely coming back. Fuck is that? One shot, and you're done. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Problem averted. Okay. I seen that there was laser trick mines up above, um, further down this corridor, so we're gonna try and bypass them. Yes, is that it? Oh! That's really sad. Was this like a kid? He looks really small. Oh, that's, that's really horrible. Fuck off! There we go. And you're done. Any more of you guys? No. Have to remember to take out the laser trip mine. How are we gonna do this? Um. Oh come on! I thought that would have worked. Nothing that can help us. Oh yes, the laser trip mines are gone. Terminal somewhere. All right, let's access this terminal. Another one that I'll just skip by because it uh, just takes too long, really, to be doing all this on camera. And I got it. Nice remote door control open, please. Thank you very much. I don't know what this is for. Can we? Oh. Oh my god. This looks kind of dodgy. This must be Virgil's, like, lab. Did he, like, shut it off from, like, the rest of the world or something? Personal record. Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing, it's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after, after I'm gone, know that I never wanted to hurt anyone, anyone. Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. After that, I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even I know I've just kind of like cut through the drama there by accident, but uh, hopefully it's still playing. No, it's not. Okay, so, uh, oh, there we go. The lives we've taken. If there is a god. May he have mercy on us all. That's so sad, isn't it? It's just, um... It's kind of made me think that, uh, I really shouldn't side with these guys, because Father is really wanting us to, like, double up on this FEV, um... kind of experimental crack. So, I, I don't know. I don't know who to believe, I don't know what to trust. But we're gonna go back to talk to Sean now. Or Father, however you want to call him. I'm afraid these guys actually know what I've done, so... I'm Kinda of just gonna run back to him now. All right, Sean, let's see what you have to say. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. 
redefine. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. Well, I don't really think that I want to uh, stay with these guys anymore. To be like 100% honest, because I don't know, I feel like I want to stay with Railroad. They've got the right idea, you know, like try and set them free. If they have free will, then yeah, they should be allowed to just do their own thing. So, I don't think this is where I want to be. Like, it's great being re reuni reunited with Sean and everything, but uh, it's just not what I hoped it would be. Which kind of sucks, but it's the right thing to do. I think. And I hope that you kind of feel that way too. Holy shit. What's going on? You can fix just about anything. Guns, computers, people. Just gotta have the right tools. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, that looked so weird. I didn't know what the hell he was doing. Here's that hologram. Just talk to me, baby. Full of Institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. What do you hope to find? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. I told you Sanctuary would grow. The sight now. Please, just... Uh, I need to be alone He's really right annoying. I hate Jun Long. I really wanted to just kill him. Alright, so... While Sturgis does that, we can head off and maybe talk to... Virgil. Give him that serum that he so desperately needs to return back to human form. Alright, Virgil, old buddy, old pal. Hopefully we can make you human again. Where are you? There you are, buddy. Hey. Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. Did you expect it to? No, of course not. It was far more likely that it would just blow up. But it didn't. You made it in. Were you able to find the serum? Got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Protect Let's and see. Serum. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Uh, Density what? gradient is high. Tell Aroma the recombinant is that. counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. So it's good. There's only one way to find out. Take. I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. I'm you weakened. 
Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. You're gonna give me nothing? Nothing? I should murder you! Okay, maybe not. He's kind of big and scary. Let's get the hell out of here and we'll figure out where to go next when we get back to Sanctuary. So, I've uh, come back here to Sanctuary and I've just noticed that this thing is now a heap of junk. I mean, nothing is working from it, so we're gonna quickly just take it for scrap, I think. Yeah, it's it doesn't look like it's working. Because, look, this is on fire. All the generators are working, but the fan and everything... Oh, not the fan, the relay dish. It's all kind of crumpled and stuff. Maybe I'll do it another time, just in case I need it. But I can just, like, nip back and forth between the Institute's area. But, uh, I'm gonna wait for Sturgis to come back with me for, four, like, four more information about the Institute before I make any kind of rational decision. And I think that we should kind of wait for, uh, Virgil as well, because that would probably be, uh, the, the best bet to do. Because he might have more information, he might be able to help us too. So, I think it's kind of the best bet. We'll just leave it for a little while. I am gonna rest for a little while. I'm gonna sick too. So it kind of helps, it works both ways. And I should have another video up very, very soon, probably in a day or two. Probably just gonna, like, roam the wastelands for a couple of days, just until, uh... Sturgis and Virgil kind of come to me with more information. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure to hit that like button and hopefully you're still enjoying this series and I will hopefully see you for the next part. Thank you all and take care and goodbye. <laughs>